Here's the news at one. First, the highlights. I'm Sarah Adesoya. The Lagos State Governor, Babajri Sowalu, has urged all stakeholders in the national development to take ownership and fulfill their responsibilities in their daily activities, emphasizing that Nigeria's greatness depends on collective efforts and accountability. Sowalu noted that to achieve greatness for the country, Nigerians in their respective positions should do what is right, noting that Nigerians are the best and are the best at what they do. He emphasized that instead of complaining about others, citizens should focus on providing lasting solutions by taking initiative, solving problems, and being accountable for their actions within this, their sphere of influence. The governor stressed that the major problem in the country is the family unit, which requires attention, and if not solved, nothing will work out as desired. He added that the government is implementing good policies, but every nation and every community is the function of family values, as the success of the country depends on how well the family units are, emphasizing that bounds and building the family units of any nation can lead to the country to greatness and prosperity. Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, WAPA, Bolaji Dada, has commended the leadership of the Latif Jakande Leadership Academy, LJLA, speaking during a visit of the academy led by the Executive Secretary, Aisha Tokwade, to the ministry. Dada said all the fellows of the academy that have been deployed to the ministry are a true reflection of what the academy represents, which is grooming young men and women. She said the commitment to fostering leadership development and the empowerment is truly commendable, noting that the ministry is always willing to collaborate with the academy. Dada said she is up the honor of attending several of the academy programs and can personally attest to the positive, positive impact they have had on participants. She said the academy empowers individuals and equips them with the necessary leadership, skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in various fields, thus contributing to the social economic development of the state. In her remarks, the executive secretary of the academy, Aisha Okomode, said the visit signifies the academy's dedication to leadership and appealed for continuous collaborative opportunities between the ministry and the academy in order to focus on ways to further amplify collective impact of both organizations. <laughs> The Federal Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation has identified the lack of adequate dams as one of the major reasons behind the flooding challenge across the country. Director of Dams and Reservoirs Operations, Ali Dalla, said during during the visit of the Technical Subcommittee of the Interministerial Technical Committee on the Evaluation of Dams in Nigeria to the Onyo Dam in Abelkuta. Dala expressed the, expressed the need to construct more dams, desilt old ones and rivers to remove sediment and other blockages so as to tackle the problem of flooding across the country. It said dams are essentially built to control flooding as they help in holding what, down large water for a gradual release when such water won't cause flooding. The Directorate of Road Traffic Services has announced that it is working tirelessly to launch its e-ticketing and central booking scheme for motorists in the Federal Capital Territory. DRTS Director Abdul Latif Belu said the implementation of this technological system will significantly reduce and eliminate physical interactions between DRTS operatives and motorists on the roads. Bello explained that to achieve this, the service had engaged to multiple service providers specializing in electronic traffic management and penalty systems. He added that the electronic enforcement would actively tackle vehicle offenses and enhance safety on FCT roads. And in foreign news, a polio vaccination campaign in North Gaza is expected to resume today, a day after the World Health Organization, WHO, said six people, including four children, were injured following a strike on Sheikh Radwan Clinic. 
The agency did not say who was responsible for the attack, but an official from Gaza's civil defense agency said it was carried out by Israeli quadcopter. Israel said it is investigating but does not believe it was responsible. UNICEF, the UN's children's agency, which is helping to lead the vaccination rollout, described the strike on Sheikh Radha Clinic as another example of indiscriminate strikes on civilians. The second phase of the vaccine rollout began on Saturday after being postponed in October due to intense Israel bombardment, mass displacement and lack of access to the region. In sports, the Super Eagles camp for the 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying March Day 5 encounter against the Benin Republic will open in Abidjan on Monday, November 10. The three-time African champions are scheduled to take on the cheaters at Felix Ofet Bulgini Stadium, Abidjan, on Thursday, November 14. All the invited players will travel directly to Abidjan from their bases. The Super Eagles will also entertain the um, Amabu V of Rwanda at the Godswila Pavius International Stadium, Uyu, on Monday, November 18. Caretaker coach Augustine Guavo is expected to unveil a squad for both games this week. Nigeria top Group D of the 2025 African qualifiers with 10 points from four games. They need a draw from the two upcoming fixtures to confirm their place at the AFCON 2025 finals. Just before we go, speed through spot kills. Please do not drive beyond the specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sonlo administration supported 3,673 businesses with 1.156 million naira and plethora of interventions including grants, mentorship, business advisory and capacity building, as well as market access opportunities? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That is the news broadcast compiled by Zainab Adebeshin. I am Sarah Adesoya. Thank you for listening and God bless you.